yeah, I think this is going to be the highlight of this tour. We're going to go to this cheese farm. And I'm having cheese tasting. A bun going down. Out of the bus, you get that funky smell of a farm. It's like, what? Um, an animal dung? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's a Dutch lady. Oh. So wearing that traditional clothing. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate how to make cheese. Yeah, all this traditional stuff, traditional tools. Gouda cheese with the name Henry Willig. That's Henry Willig. He started 50 years ago making cheese and today he's one of the best cheese makers in the world. So you're very lucky to come up. And the mm -hmm. way it's not for cheese, it's for factories. You can make cosmetics out of it. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm still so beautiful. <laughs> and there is also a soft drink made of it and in Germany they drink it. <laughs> very funny. Because the way it sounds very healthy, you know. Mm. Flavour is also. It's the, pla uh, the wax, the, the we dump all cheeses in and out. With the wax, the cheese is fully closed. Nothing happens with it anymore, and it will be good for six to seven months without changing, and also not necessarily in the fridge for four weeks. So you can travel with it, it's not a problem. <coughs> Very important, don't eat plastic and wax. <laughs> no, we have Dutch people. Oh no. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we cut it up with a cheese slicer. And if you want to eat spaghetti, we have this. Well, we also have. No, we don't. Smoked cheese? No. No, we don't. Usually, let's say we have smoked cheese, but we don't have smoked cheese. We also have this cheese. This is a very cheese for the uh, important cheese for the company because Henry Willow always goes to competitions, shows our cheeses over there, and this cheese won a prize. This is the world champion, and then made of goat's milk. Yes, you believe that. You can try it over there. <laughs> <laughs> so we have cheeses made of goat milk, sheep milk, and cow milk. Well, the trufa here at She's wearing a traditional clothing. Born, 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 born. We don't have the only young cheese. We're just trying to work on cheese here. And they, what's impressive though, they have dip for number cheese, for example. Have mustard. No. Lady said. Dutch people eat everything with um, mustard, so. Lavender. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's got so much options. I don't even know what to buy. I'm going to try one more time. See what I really like. Wow, look at this. This is so hard. Let's snack up on this thing. Yeah, this is how I got one of these. I eat them. Dehydrated vegetables. Well, I got one of these. Not so 
characters. More of this. They actually have different types of dip, cheese dips. You know, the snack on cheese, crazy. So, here, we got an apricot, date, balsamic, cheese, pineapple, ginger, oh, that's good, red fig, yeah, those are your small versions. Mustard, roasted tomato, jalapeno, balsamic, spicy. So it's different flavors. In here it's okay, my group, the other group comes in. Uh, um, finish your your things, and then we're coming back to the bus. Uh, and so Hello, Vienna, and also Grupo Vienna, and also. Of all the places you can find nuts, it's in the cheese farm. <laughs> Look at this. Nuts. I like nuts. I didn't buy any other cheeses, man. It's gonna add a baggage. I'm gonna add weight in my bag. So, but dude, I love cheese. They have different, they have a cheese culture here in the Netherlands. I tried cheese tasting in Australia. Uh, but it's, it's way grander though. It's way classy. So you get to sit down and be served with a uh, platter, platter of cheese. Different types of cheeses. Yeah. yeah, I didn't taste anything that's bitter, but in Australia there's like this rye kind of cheese, you know, it's so bad, it's like they have molds in the cheese, but they don't have that here in the um, Netherlands, so anyways, I'm gonna try, try this, and we will like nuts instead of cheese. We're rolling down now. And this is where we just talking about. And this region is plenty full of fish. Okay, we're here at Volendam Dam now here in the Netherlands. Oh, we're having lunch. Oh man, this is for even right there. They have beautiful houses here. They're looking tiny. But I'm made out of brick. Bricks. And, uh. I'm expecting this place to have like bicycle culture. Hollandish food. So, yeah. I'm hoping I can eat. A Dutch food here. It's cool about this country stuff. They have a. Uh, well, <laughs> scared of that dog. They got bitten by a dog before. <laughs> it scares me. Is here. Smelling duck poo.
so I'm going to do this to go for a quick side scene. I'm going to go back there, eat my lunch. I'm not even hungry. This is a lake. Big lake. And this is where seafood comes from. Lake food. Is there such a thing? The lake food. So this is like a coast of the Netherlands, Holland. Just looking for a restaurant where I can eat. Let's, let's do a walk and tour of this place. There's so many bicycles here. Restaurant. Look at his houses though. Those roofs were as unique. So I'm just gonna go for a walk. We got about one hour. This is a Steiner burger. I've never seen any discount of bread before. 